I should start editing, but I don't feel like it. Hey, hey everyone, I just got out of the shower. I'm going to head out to the movie theater. I'm going to go see Firestarter anyway, and I'm going to go see other another movie, because I think I'm going to stick around for the 7 o'clock screening of Top Gun, but I haven't decided that fully yet. Um... It's like a screener, it's like Investor Connect screening, which I think would be kind of cool to go into, but I really don't know yet. Uh, I don't know if I want to stay at the movie theater all day or what. I, I'm thinking about it, but yeah, I don't know yet. We'll see. I mean, why not, right? But then again, tomorrow I actually have work at like 11 a.m. and I'm staying there all day, so I probably won't be at the movies all day. I'll probably stick around for one or two movies. I know I'm seeing Firestarter. The second movie I'm debating between seeing Sonic 2 again or going to see Men. Uh, Men was actually really good. I didn't do a movie trip on that, but I, I might. I might. This is going to just be a vlog as of right now because I do have a movie trip for Firestarter because I did watch it on Peacock. Uh, why am I going to the theater then? Well, because it's uh, my day off, I want to go to the movies. It's literally the only movie that's playing at that time that I haven't seen on the big screen yet because I'm not interested in Downton Abbey. I'm not interested in um, Family Camp. So, <laughs> yeah, when we go to the movies, I'll show you the movies that are playing. Uh, I'm really debating about that Top Gun, though. Like, I don't care if I won't get out of that movie till like, 10. And I have to be at work, like, 11 hours after that. But, no, normally I normally I would care. Normally I would care. But today, I don't know. It's debatable. I think if I don't see Top Gun tonight, I will definitely go next week. Because uh, I'm also off next Saturday, which is the 4th. So I probably will go see Top Gun then. Or maybe I'll go see... I definitely want to go see Bob's Burgers. I definitely want to go see... Yeah, I know. I want to go see Bob's Burgers. But that's also playing Friday at 10 in the morning. So I'll probably go Friday for that. And then I might see Top Gun after that. And then just go straight to work. I don't know. We'll see. That's a little debatable, though. I might not do that. That's a little It's a little much. But we'll see. I I also got this little guy uh, the other day at GameStop. I love him. I haven't unboxed him yet. People are going to say online, I don't want to unbox him. Well, I might because he looks so cute and I want to just hold him. I mean, hell, I unboxed Spyro and no one gave me shit for it. And then again, I didn't make a video about it until now. So, yeah, you know. Okay. These are all my movies. Blu-ray and 4K are just mixed together now. I was rearranging this because I was going to try and figure out like what I wanted to do for movie night. I actually had all the movies out that I had already done for movie night. And I actually had them on a separate shelf. But then I stopped doing that. I just put everything back up on the shelf for whatever reason. Uh, movie night probably won't continue for a while, guys. Because uh, the Chip and Dale one, I think, was pretty cool. But that was the end of my... I'm going to call that the end of Season 5. Because I have not have any plans to bring back movie night episodes for a while. But uh, I definitely want to do a movie night on um, Scott Pilgrim. Uh, which is right over there. But I'm going to do the Blu-ray cop. The 4K. Which is somewhere in there. Uh, I definitely want to do the Euro Crypt Collection. And the Omen. And all the Friday of the 13th stuff. And maybe even House Thousand Corpses. Because I did do 3 from Hell. But yeah, guys, I just don't know how much longer I can do movie night. It's just getting tiring. So, but uh, we'll see. Uh, if I ever do the first Candyman, because I already did Candyman 3. It was the first movie night episode that I did uh, when I came back from with movie night. Uh, if I ever do that, that'd be kind of cool to do, I guess, the first one. But I want to get the Scream Factory 4K, which came out the other day. Or actually, technically, uh, at the time I was recording, it came out yesterday with the Batman, but I didn't get either or. Um, I don't know. We'll see, guys. But uh, this is uh, this is looking a lot. So, oh, and I'll also be going through my collection because I'm gonna be selling some stuff. But uh, I'll show you that video whenever I make that. I'm gonna show you like these are the movies I'm getting rid of. Which, there's quite a few that I see, like, right here. Like, Pirates of the Caribbean 2, and I, I know there's three in there somewhere. I plan on getting rid of those. I plan on selling, um, 
my Blu-ray copy of Uncut Gems because I got the 4K. But I need to look at the 4K to see if the bonus e same bonus features are on it because I don't know. Um, plan on getting rid of uh, mm, other stuff in here. I just don't know what. Maybe Wreck-It Ralph. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to head off to the movies now. Hunter, Hunter, right, buddy, baby, buddy, rawr. I'm going to the movies, but you can't go. Scout, come here, Scout. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. What's going on, Scout? And then there's Archie. Archie. And you'll pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor. Call 800-331-6838. Again, that's it. My luck, I get to the movie theater so early that I can't get in yet. <laughs> so I am, you know, chilling, basically. Gonna go walk around real quick. I'm gonna come back to these doors at 12.30. Um, maybe that, about a few minutes from now, so, yeah. But it doesn't hurt the vlog a little bit, especially early in the day when there's nobody really walking around here. Yeah, it's nice. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna go see Firestarter. Um, and then I'm gonna go see something else. I don't know yet though. I haven't decided. Or I might go get lunch, I don't know. I might just get lunch at the movies. Alright. I got two minutes until 12.30. Sun's walking around. So why not? I really wish I had someone with me. Kind of wish it. You know, that way they can hold my snacks while I, it, while I record. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, I like coming by myself. I don't have to spend as much money. <laughs> they actually opened the doors a little early. Fun fact, everybody, this is the same theater I walked into when I saw everything had to wait all at once. About... Alright, got my Top Gun Maverick cup. Got my mac and cheese bites, because they didn't have flatbreads, but that's okay. My 
Top Gun Maverick popcorn pin, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I really want to go see that, too. I, I really want to. Might, I might just stick around for that Investor Connect anyway. I'm going to leave this here real quick, and I'm going to go take pictures of those movie posters out in the hallway. But yeah, no, um, this is the same theater where I saw everything, everything all at once. Which, that movie's awesome. I don't care what anyone says. Back to the theater, I'll talk louder. So, um, so, uh, at the Gaithersburg AMC, at least the top floor anyway, they have tons of posters. I don't know if you guys saw my Gaithersburg where I went and saw Spider Man No Way Home and Scream, but. Yeah, <laughs> when I bought those, when I went to see those movies, I recorded and, uh, yeah, you know, so, um, I'm gonna, um, show you what these mac and cheese bites look like. Fuck. Well, they fell over, but that's what they look like. <sighs> do I just go get another order or do I eat them? I don't know. I do have rewards pending, actually, so maybe I don't have to pay for them. I can just use my $10 in rewards. I feel bad for the people in that theater. It's echoing like really, really loud. The sound system's about to go out, I can tell. <laughs> you know, that's why I love spending my time at the movie theater. I know when shit goes wrong. So, yeah. Oh, and I did go get another order of the mac and cheese plates. I did drop them and I did for the ones away. I was like, man. And I really could have just left the ones on the floor and then just ate the ones that survived and then just throw the crappy ones in the in the box when I was done. But there was only like two bites left, so I got a new order. No bag this time. And everything's still here. Which I'm thankful for. Because coming to the movies by myself, if I left this here, someone came in, stole it or threw it out, I would have been so upset. I would have had to prove. <laughs> so, you know. But, uh... I did pay for the mac and cheese bites because the more rewards I get, the more money I can save in the long run. So, yeah. So, I have about $30 in points, which I need to use before they re try to renew my account because the one time I couldn't afford a list one month, like right away. So, what they did was. Um, I have it propped on the railing here. Um, so what they did one month when I called the support system, they're like, well, you have enough rewards in your account for us to just reward it that way. So I didn't really want them to do that because that was how I was paying for my popcorn and soda for like a couple weeks. Well, then I was like, well, I really need A-list and I don't want to go to the movies, buy my ticket, and then buy my fucking popcorn and soda on top of it. So... I told him, sure, go ahead. And that, my friends, is why I love A-List. Because I can come to the movies, see three movies a week, for the $24 a month. Well, $24 and some change, like $24.15 a month. You know, and they were talking about raising the price by like a dollar. That's You still save money. Look, I pay 
And you know, I actually have a friend that lives in California. His tier where he pays, he can only he only has to pay like twenty three something a month for it. So that's kind of cool. If anything, they need to check these lights because it's giving me like a bluish tone, but I just think it's cinematic. Anyways, I, I gotta check to see if there's anyone that bought tickets to this yet, except for me. And augmented reality games, endless so, movie trivia, and so Maria much more. Manuna so settle just, in, relax, um, and tear into that popcorn. Movie starts right now. Um, in case you can't tell, uh, I'm a huge movie fan. Thankfully, movie trivia gives ways to play, like daily challenges, head-to-head, -head, quest mode, and more. Download movie trivia and unleash your geek. So. Enjoy white glove service with the Crawley family. With a high-class cocktail made with Hendrix gin. <laughs> Order your Downton Fizz. When oh, you wow. see Downton Abbey, a new era in theaters. Not at this theater you can't because their bar is closed. Oh, the thing. It takes us over. And there's no more enemies. Nobody left to kill it. I think that'd be kind of cool to see. I like the thing. Yeah, you could own it on digital and disc. Welcome you to Perry Fix. You want to know what new movies you can't miss? Hold on to your butts. We're about to get She used to follow me on Instagram. On my old Instagram account. Tom Cruise returning to the role of Maverick over three decades after the 1986 release of Top Gun? Your reputation for Too long. The sequel, Top Gun Maverick, is a major priority this year. This footage is filmed by this new incredible looking camera system that takes you into the cockpit with the actors. Top Gun Maverick flies into theaters. I had to do it. On May 27th. Cool. Big things are coming for summer, Tina. I love when a film is able to satisfy the hardcore fans of the series. See, it looks cool. The Bob's Burgers out. movie, it looks alright. It looks like Bob's Burgers, the movie, might have the power to do just that. Fresh hot burger, sexy burger, slim. I've got high hopes that this movie will serve as my gateway to the Emmy-winning animated series when it hits theaters on May 27th. Alan Grant. Jurassic Park is my all-time favorite movie, so Jurassic World Dominion is one of my most anticipated films. Life. We'll find a way. The mosquito featured in the prologue, it's the one used to create the Jurassic Park T-Rex we've come mm. to love. I can't wait what to see that. Here is her origin story. You can bet I'll be right there in the theater with you when Jurassic World Dominion opens on June 10th. It right. looks good. That's a wrap on this edition of so, so I checked the app before the Perry's too. Picks, and I'm Hopefully still the only one that bought a ticket, but I'm about to check it right now again. How are you guys? And on this episode of Newbie I'm still here. I'm still, um, from a liberal backstabbing brother to the only one that bought a ticket. Rocket sister locked in a basement. Thor's story is taking quite a few turns. We were first rounding from the dead instead of that tough love. Thor's little brother tried to conquer Earth and the Avengers out of jealousy, and if there's one thing you can count on in a Thor story, it's a good old-fashioned sibling fight with Loki. And just when we thought the two bros will finally be getting back on the right track, surprise, God of Thunder, he had a more evil sister waiting in the wings. The girl showed up during the events of Thor Ragnarok, the Guardian Apocalypse. Now that's evil. With Thor, Love, and Thunder on the way, we have to wonder if he will ever reconnect with his brother Loki again. And what's going on with his ex, Jane Foster? Hit me up on Newbie Socials with your thoughts. I'm Straw Hat Goofy. Can I be your movie guy? Forever? Yep, out there is Progressive's home quote exclusive mm. site where I compare to both insurance rates. This is we shit don't though. Don't theater. use this so to get that. I don't, I don't yeah. like marinara sauce like that. It's only good with pizza. But Heinz marinara sauce is not that good. Customers on the big screen in a distraction free environment. Call 1 800 Screen One today and write your own Hollywood ending. Mm -hmm. mm. Listen up, people. You're headed for a climate disaster, and yet every year, governments spend hundreds of billions of public funds on fossil fuel subsidies. 
Imagine if we had spent hundreds of billions per year subsidizing giant meteors. That's, That's what, what they look like. Right now. Around the world, people are living mm. in poverty. Don't you think helping them would make more sense than, I don't know, paying for the demise of your entire species? You've got a huge opportunity right now. As you rebuild your economies and bounce back from this pandemic. So here's my wild idea. Don't choose extinction. Save your species before it's too late. It's time for you humans to stop making excuses yep. and start making changes. Thank you. Mm-mm-mm. Your movie obsession with movie trivia. Download today. Home Alone. Home Alone. Seen that ad too many times going to the theater. I know you can't really see any of the mac and cheese because there's no really no more noodles, but yeah, they're pretty good though. <laughs> That's why you go to the restroom before the movie starts. Get epic protection for your mm -mm -mm. There's no way we can restore the grid if we don't get that flash drive to the tower. It's been a good run. No. We are the one. I can. I have never seen the boys actually. Oh. Guess this means we're breaking up. Nazi. Oh, so it's not There's the boys. Wrong with oh, there he is. We got to Homelander. <laughs> That's a good show. I haven't seen it though. Looks good. We have to do whatever it takes. I'm not the guy from the last Jedi. Just look into the 
eyes of the people that you love. <laughs> above all else. Boys and their toys. At least we know they're getting work done. Place is dangerous. No. It's okay. I'm curious to hear where she's going with this. I need you to listen to me. I'm gonna go home. 
I'm gonna go home and start editing. I am getting picked up by one of the worst Lyft drivers in the world. Uh, I think maybe I don't know. Five star rating, but I'm only gonna be his like seventh ride. <laughs> 